Athens, the past and present come together to make a lively picture. As the birthplace of Western civilization, it is a place where ancient landmarks stand as timeless sentinels in the middle of a busy metropolis, reminding people of how much the city has changed art, philosophy, and politics. As interesting as Athens' historic ruins and artifacts are, the city's lively squares, colorful markets, and friendly people are what really make it alive. As you walk around Athens, you can't help but notice how well the city's historical significance and modern energy blend together, as each neighborhood has its own story to tell. Athens is a city that honors its rich history, but it is also a city that is full of modern energy, with cutting-edge art galleries, a lively food scene, and a wide range of nightlife options. The Acropolis is a symbol that stands tall above the city of Athens. It gives a view of not only Athens, but also hundreds of years of history that have shaped Western society. The sun casting its golden light on the limestone columns gives the Acropolis a mysterious air that makes you think about not only the huge buildings that draw you in, but also the little things like how the light hits the old stones, the views of the city below, and the quiet moments when you can think about something so important in history. However, the Acropolis is not stuck in the past, it is a living part of Athens that links the past and the present. The Parthenon, which stands on top of Athens Acropolis, is the best example of ancient Greek architecture and the spirit of a culture that helped build Western culture. This temple, which is dedicated to Athena Parthenos, the city's patron goddess, shows how smart and creative Athens was during its golden age. This old building is a tribute to Dionysus, the god of wine and the arts. It shows the rich theatrical tradition of ancient Greece, which is still important in Western literature and performance arts. This stunning museum at the foot of the southern slope of the Acropolis displays its surviving treasures. The collection ranges from the Arcade to the Roman period, but the emphasis is on the Acropolis from the 5th century BC, considered the apotheosis of Greek artistic achievement. Upon entering the museum, the glass floor reveals the ruins of an ancient Athenian quarter. These were discovered during construction and had to be preserved and integrated into a new construction plan. The museum's crowning glory is the Parthenon Gallery on the top floor, a glass atrium that houses the temple's 160 meters long frieze. It is set up as before, following the design of the building, and you can walk around, as if on top of the columns, and examine the fragments at eye level. The lively and unique atmosphere of Monastiraki captures the spirit of Athens. At the base of the Acropolis, this lively neighborhood is made up of narrow streets, lively squares, and many shops selling everything from antiques and used clothes to traditional Greek crafts and modern art. The Monastiraki Square, which gives the area its name, is a busy place where both locals and visitors come together to enjoy the lively atmosphere and the chance to find new things. This colorful bazaar is where the past and present mix in Monastiraki. It's where the city's heart beats. Monastiraki also serves as a cultural crossroads, where the ancient Hadrian's library meets the Byzantine Church of Capricaria, offering a narrative of Athens' layered history. The Roman Agora archaeological site is north of the Acropolis and east of the ancient Greek Agora. It gives us a fascinating look into how people lived in Athens when the Romans were in charge. The Roman Agora, which was built in the 1st century BC with money from Julius Caesar and Augustus, was the center of business in Athens. It shows how the city's social and political center changed during the Roman era. The Gate of Athena Archigetes, marked by four Doric columns, stands as a proud entrance to the Agora, reminding visitors of the patronage that helped build this marketplace. The way that Roman architecture and classical Greek landscape are put next to each other shows how Athens' culture and history come together. Queen Amelia, who was the first queen of Greece, built the National Garden of Athens in the 1800s. This huge garden covers about 38 acres and is right next to the presidential mansion and the Greek parliament. The carefully planned landscaping includes a mix of native and exotic plants, winding paths, and peaceful ponds, making it a beautiful place to take a stroll, relax, and think. The garden is not only a safe place for plants, but also for birds, whose chirps and songs add to the peaceful atmosphere. The ancient Agora of Athens, which is at the base of the Acropolis, was the city's center in the past. 
it was more than just a market, it was the hub of civic life, where people came to trade, talk about politics and philosophy, and take part in the democratic process. As you walk through the Agora, you can almost hear the sounds of the past, from the busy traders and craftsmen to the passionate arguments of the people who lived there and studied philosophy. The Agora is important for more than just its historical and architectural wonders. It stands for the ideals of Athenian democracy and the intellectual pursuits that have shaped Western thought. People like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle walked around these grounds and had conversations that would later become the basis for philosophy, science, and political theory. The Olympian, which is another name for the Temple of Olympian Zeus, is a huge building that shows how ambitious ancient Athens was and how much they loved the king of the gods. When it was built, this huge ruin was one of the biggest temples in the ancient world. It took almost 700 years to finish, from the 6th century BCE to the 2nd century C, when Hadrian was emperor of Rome. The size of the temple and how long it took to build show how Athens's fortunes and government have changed over time. The ruins of the Temple of Olympian Zeus are a powerful reminder of the Greeks' religious and architectural goals in the past. At its peak, the temple had 104 huge Corinthian columns, but today only 15 are still standing. With its beautiful architecture, the Panathinaiko Stadium is a lasting reminder of the Olympic Games. This amazing building, made entirely of white marble, stands on the site of an old stadium that was built in the 4th century BCE for the Panathenaic Games, which were like the Olympics today. In the late 1800s, the stadium we see today was carefully rebuilt for the first modern Olympic Games, which took place in 1896. Athens' food is based on the idea that less is more, so the quality and flavors of fresh, local ingredients can shine. Olive oil, which is known as the liquid gold of the Mediterranean, tomatoes that have been ripened in the Greek sun, feta cheese, olives, and lots of fresh seafood make up a diet that is good for you and tastes great. Athens has a lot of different foods that people with adventurous tastes can try. When you eat street food like gyros wrapped in soft, freshly baked pita or sweet syrupy laukomates, you can feel the energy and warmth of the city. The huge Syntagma Square is a great example of both Greece's troubled past and its exciting present. This big square in front of the Hellenic Parliament is more than just a landmark. It's also a place where people talk about politics, get together with friends, and learn about Athens' long and interesting history. Constitution Square, the name of the square, comes from the Revolution of 1843, when a military uprising asked King Otto of Greece for a constitution. This call for democracy and good government made Syntagma Square the center of the country's social and civic life. Today, the square is a busy hub where tourists, locals, street vendors, and sometimes protest speaking out for political and social causes can be found. This shows that Athens is a city where people are always active and involved. Mount Lycabetus is a beautiful natural landmark in the middle of Athens. It offers a view of the whole city and a place to escape the constant chaos below. Standing at a height of about 908 feet above sea level, this limestone rock is both a geological wonder and a place full of myths and stories. A story says that this prominent hill was made when Athena, the goddess of wisdom, dropped a rock she was carrying to the Acropolis. As you walk through Athens, you'll be able to feel the ancient majesty of the Acropolis and the timeless beauty of the Parthenon. You'll also be able to enjoy the lively atmosphere of Monastiraki and the peace and quiet of the National Garden. Athens isn't just a place to visit, it's an experience that includes all of humankind's best works of art and thought, as well as the most simple pleasures like sharing a meal or watching the sun go down. From the old ruins to the busy markets, every part of the city tells a story of strength, creativity, and the never-ending search for connection and meaning. People who visit Athens don't just walk through a city, they walk through history, culture, and life that have been woven together for thousands of years. In this place, the past is always there, making us think about where we've been, and maybe even, where we're going. Athens is a shining example of civilization, it reminds us of the beauty, complexity, and strength of the human story.